happening guys welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i don't be having a little wonder around town to see what is happening i don't know where this heat wave what we meant to be in having but it's a bit more cooler today i'm not i'm not the one being complaining so but i'm a bit ill this weekend but i thought i need to get out and get a bit of fresher and things you know when you're just being out laying in bed all day like in a room and things and sometimes you just need that bit of uh, so I thought I would little steady walk around to see what is happening. And this is something you don't see every day in Blackpool. Some trees or some plants. And you also got like a little forklift thingy right there. So I don't have a little wonder what to the gent Jensons were and see what is going on. It looks like they need a bit of work here. It looks like the ground is lifting up. You wouldn't like to be walking past this after a night out in Blackpool, wouldn't you? Just making my way to St John's Square now. Looks like we've got a couple of people out. And it also looks like the church is quite... We've got a couple of people up to church to do the worship. The weather definitely ain't stopping people from coming out, so... But... I'm the type of person who don't like it too warm so when it's like this it is perfect weather for me not only that I notice when it's quite cool you can get a lot more done compared to when it's like 20 degrees upwards look like work is undergoing here now like what I mentioned in my last um, video I've been told it don't be a gentleman club don't know how true that is but I suppose we'll find out in a few months down the line when all the work is all done. Look like we've also got a new shop coming to town. The Palm Walkers. And of course, this is the last weekend for the Elma weekend. I never noticed though, I went, to, I went on to Google and things and I noticed you need to buy some tickets to go see them. So I was quite gutted with that, but if there weren't no advertisements about where you need to buy tickets to go to the Blackpool Tower to see the last of these. Right then, I'm just making my way to the prom bit now. Well, it's like anyone know, you've been watching this channel for a while now. I like fixing you a bit of a sea update and things. It's looking quite busy on the prom. I don't to just have a little wonder up near Papa John's in a minute. I suppose well, there was meant to be in, um, a chip fire or something there uh, yesterday with ambulances and police and things all there. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube about that. Was I was stuck in bed ill. But I'll put a link down to someone uh, to the Blackpool lads video on this one. I'll put in video on the entry and as well if you want to go to check that out. So as you can tell, the sea and uh, the sea is in the North Beach. Well, normally I would say it's perfect to walk the dogs, but you don't have to walk your dogs at the minute between Central and South. And even if you were, you wouldn't be able to walk them at this time of the day at uh, what's up the sea. Got Blackpool Tower there just in the distance and you also got the tourist hotspot you got a couple of brownies and things on there so I don't really want to be recording um, the scent the comedy carpet when you got like um, something happening and things we have got Poppas and this where the fire was meant to be um, it was a chip pan, I believe so. Like, not a chip pan, but like a uh, deep up fryer. Well, like I said, I'll put a link down in the description of the Blackpool lads. I know in came out and filled this. But it don't look like it open. But it makes you think, don't it? Like, do you not check all that before you go and close the shop for the day or something? It ain't been getting that busy, and there have been a lot of fires in the Blackpool area. So is it still a bit more to the story than what we know? You'll never know. So just making my way up to Central Pier. And as you can tell, there's quite a couple of people out. Wonder what the plans for today. Do you never walk down the street and think, oh, wonder what they're doing today? 
or like I always do like always interested in what people got planned and stuff see is it better than mine day and this is something I haven't noticed before but I've seen it on someone live once and then you're meant to be able to wash the sand and things like your feet and maybe like to put your head under and no matter what you always get a bit of a sand island just on this part of the beach just in front of um, sea life and fun land but, but as you can see there's quite a couple of people out enjoying enjoying it We've got Central Pier just in the distance there and the sea look a bit more rougher up this way Central Pier in full swing you got the rides and things all going around we got this sea it look like we got a couple of leaves in the, um, the sea today we also got people enjoying that bit of an island sand pit we have got going on just down there we also got the Blackpool Tower just in the distance you can see that no matter where you are in Blackpool got the lifeguard just putting in front of the central pier maybe warning people about the sea maybe so we could also saw you all the time but you got happy days amusement and you got like your donuts and type of coffee shop just right here and we so far just over there just at the side of the old courts now and it all being fenced up and stuff I suppose it's just stop people from going in there which it is quite dangerous I read up somewhere it meant to have asbestos so you don't want to be inhaled in that or you could be really ill but you got a couple of broken windows just at the top you got some more there and hopefully this make the scrutiny job a bit more easier they're meant to be getting brought do not down in mid-September time the scrutiny was saying and of course you've got the new multi-story car park it looked like this chippy I've been close now on Kent Road. It used to be quite a busy chippy, I remember. Like, always people queuing up and things and going in. So I don't know what happened there. Then you got like the shop next door with a sign in the window saying under offer. And you got Donna Dream House and the post office just on central drive right then it is coming to the end of the video now so don't have a little wonder up central drive and see what's happening up this way if you're enjoying this video so far then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and let me know down in the comments what other types of videos would you like to see We got some classic looking bikes just here, just, just right next to the Soul Street. Right then guys, I think that's on for the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then hit the subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, I want to be the first ones to watch it. Turn on the Norcase and Bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.